guys, Mr. John here. In this video is all about this the transistor tester that I built. As you can see, it's in this white case, which is really a casing from an old ADSL router, as I mentioned in my comment. See? That's used to be indicator lights. And it is homemade, as you can see from the crustiness of this case, and prepare yourself for shock <laughs> all right and excuse me for this mess but it works just fine why is it so well because the transistor tester has a sophisticated software in it it is it has a microcontroller right over here in deep 20a package and that is 80 mega 328p which uh, in a software contains a lot of built-in calibrating procedures that allow to null out all of the stray capacitances and gibberish I have on this board. So don't you worry about that. Usually these devices, these devices power from a 9V battery, but I was pissed by the price of 9V batteries and their capacity. So I decided, so I converted mine into a device which is lithium ion battery powered single cell and then it has this converter DC to DC boost converter which speeds out 5 volts to power the microcontroller magic on this board and I can prove it as you can see I actually changed the code a little bit so when the thing turns on There we go. 3.8 volts. You can see battery 3.8 volts. Okay. And the problem I've encountered when I added this board is the thing would not switch off. It tries to switch off and then it switches on again. And that was caused by the very large bulk capacitance on the output of this DC to DC converter which I've added because uh, this converter happened to be quite sensitive to noise so I added a Pi filter you can see the one capacitor here then uh, this orange wire goes over to here and that's a choke on the other side which goes right there and the main bulk capacitor as a large one for 70 or so microfarads is located on this area on the other side and the problem is how this thing manages its power because this is a momentary button and it latches on how does it do that? well the power goes from the battery with this red wire which is goes over to here and here is a PNP transistor base collector of which goes to the DC to DC converter that's a yellow wire and base of which goes through a resistor to that momentary button which goes to ground so whenever you press it this transistor turns on and um, allows power this turns on and uh, powers up the DC to DC converter which produces 5 volts for the microcontroller which wakes up and produces a power on signal which is right here which goes to the base of the NPN transistor in this area and, the, and that NPN transistor pulls the base of this PNP transistor to ground and that's how the thing latches on and whenever the microcontroller wants to turn itself off it, it uh, produces instead it pulls the signal low switches off this transistor that way and no more current for the base of this PNP transistor so the thing should switch off but the thing is having very large capacitance here 
whenever the signal goes low, the thing tries to power itself, uh, switch itself off, and this transistor is off, but this capacitor is not discharged yet. It produces, uh, it has enough, enough energy stored to start the cycle all over again because having uh, some energy in this capacitor which is left from the previous cycle is perfectly enough to start the cycle again and essentially mimics you pushing a button. So how I battle that is I'm this with this bodginess, which all it does is it senses that signal which is right here and shorts out that capacitor whenever the signal goes low and that's why it works so smoothly and switches off so nice look at it switching off nice and clean now let me go and disconnect this discharging bodginess and you and I will show you what it does without it. And I did what I said and look at this. See? It tries to switch off, it pulls the signal low, which you can see by a drop with this LED going off. And it starts all over again and sometimes it freezes and go does, does this. The way I turn it off without any desoldering is I go and short out base emitter or that PNP transistor I mentioned. By the way, you can see that it's on white light glowing right here I'm gonna short it out you will see that the light right here will go off see it went off so that's what I was talking about if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you.